but you know, she's been in Iceland a lot. And how great it is that the women in Iceland are emerging. And this isn't about men and women, by the way, because it's the divine feminine that has to be the lead of the new. The old holds on. The old's holding on now. I don't know how many of you are truly hearing me because of the stuff that, that you still have inside yourselves. And certainly, as a disclaimer, anyone who came into this room, please don't be judging when you leave. Because the more, if you leave with any more judgment than you came in, and, oh, please, do not go on your pillow tonight carrying any judgment. Just know I'm doing the best I know how. If it doesn't fit, just discard it. Just, just leave it aside. Leave it aside. But it's so great that now, in Iceland, the women can say, how do we trust each other? How do we care for each other? It's amazing that that opportunity can happen in chaos that could possibly bring forward a new emergence of a nation that only has 330,000 people. And 300,000 people is a very small amount of people that can connect who could then perhaps be a shining example to the 60 or 70 million people here, or the 300 million people in, in, in America. How great it is that very, this very second, this very day, there are a billion people that live on less than one dollar a day. There are two billion people that live on less than two dollars a day. And do not pity that. Do not pity it. And I'll talk about, about the charitable aspects later. Do not pity it because 200 million of those people today are receiving microloans. 200 million of those people are the inspiring social entrepreneurs that we need to be. When the pilgrims went to America, what did they go with? When the people went with their little, little bags to America, with, with all their children coming out of concentration areas and stuff and wars and different places and they're packing themselves on the cruise ships and you've seen all the black and white pictures. What did they go with? They went with their passion. They went with their skill sets. They went with their trading skill sets. What can I give to you? How can we trade? And that was the bastion of an entire nation that rose up to be a pretty immense nation. Over the last few decades, we the people which is in the Constitution, we can have it here. We the people have abdicated, we the people, and our responsibilities to be governed by banks and, and by, governed by governments. Reliant on those things, we the people, did you buy water today? Who bought water today? You bought a bottle of water. You paid more for the water than you did for the petrol. You paid more for the water than the petrol. And yet it rains in this country. <laughs> you know, it's, it's